Hi, I'm Carmen Shamas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Tuesday, the 16th of August. Today the moon is in Aries for the second consecutive day. It forms a, a trine, a fire trine with the sun, which is in Leo. So this should be a perfect day for Aries, for Leo, for uh, Sagittarius, uh, for Gemini and for uh, Aquarius. Tomorrow, the moon will be in Taurus, so it's going to be totally different. Let's start with Aries. You're definitely one of the most um, um, successful signs, one of the luckiest signs today. Today is a powerful day, very empowering, definitely, and full of um, resources that you can actually use. So today is a great day to invest your 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 time, your skills, your efforts in this beautiful, rewarding day. As for Taurus, this can be a very slow day. It can be very exhausting. It can deplete your energies. It's the moon, which is in Aries. It's like it's, it's like climbing up the hill and then it's, you're almost there, but that's when you feel the most tired. So this is almost it. Tomorrow the moon will be in your sign. So try not to ruin it. Try not to ruin it today. It can be disappointing, can be frustrating. It can also be kind of uh, confusing. So you have to, to be strong today. Try not to risk anything and double check on your bookings i always say that be extra careful if you were born between the 18th and the 20th of may that's planet mars talking it's in your sign moving to gemini definitely today is better than two than 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 wednesday and thursday so if you have important things to do before friday i think they should be done today wrap them up and uh, try to relax in the next coming days so today can be fully rewarding rewarding today can be fully energizing and you need this energy you need to uh, work uh, seriously on your projects and i think you can actually uh, get things done um, the way you want it's a beautiful day it's uh, it's very interactive and i think it can be very uh, interesting regarding the info regarding the help that, that you can get from your community you will not be on your own moving to cancer i think cancer you should be today there are two cancerians today one which can be uh, very very successful and the, the other one can be tired and actually under a lot of um, of uh, of worries so if you're if you're ready for your responsibility today the moon in aries can actually help build your fame it can be so important it can push you upwards so this is a beautiful day but if you're one of those cancerians who's who is already tired and it's too much overwhelmed today can be overwhelming so you have to take things uh, to you have to take into consideration that today is an overwhelming kind of day uh, although planet jupiter helps you out but still you need to double check on things you have to follow up on your uh, work uh, planet jupiter can help you definitely if you were born on the 29th 30th of june let's move now to uh, leo Leo, you are a lucky sign today. I'm talking astrologically. I don't know what you have on your mind and I don't know what you have on your agenda, but astrologically, the, the quality of time is superior. It's a lucky, lucky, lucky day. And uh, it's the luckiest so far this week. So you had yesterday was lucky astrologically. Today is also just as lucky. It can be even luckier. So what you have to do is actually get things done you cannot stay behind you cannot lag lag behind you have to wake up earlier maybe you have to put aside the easy stuff and you have to concentrate put your efforts where the effort is needed make benefit use the invest actually invest the um, your time in this beautiful day because it's worth it everybody can be lucky today especially if you were born on the 31st of july first uh, 2nd of um uh, of uh, August. Okay, let's move now to Virgo. Virgo, today the moon is in Aries, which is the eighth house, which can help you out in certain um, in certain issues, especially those related to papers. Uh, you have to make sure that you haven't forgotten everything, that you have all your papers with you wherever you go. Um, it's the sun that actually sends these warnings because with the sun in um, Leo, um, 
you may actually forget your belongings, your papers, forget about your plane tickets, forget about the time, forget about so many important stuff. So today you have to pay attention to these details, important details. They're not small details. They're very important details. And your keys, things like that. And also pay attention to your health. You have to detox from time to time. Your mentality, your health, your body, you know, maybe some meditation helps or maybe some um, healthy food helps. So you know about that. Um, you can be quite lucky today if you were born on the 19th, 20th of September. Okay, let's move now to, Pi to Libra. Um, Libra today with the moon opposing your sign, this can be kind of a um, a challenging day. Maybe it, it triggers um, some negative feelings toward a person, someone who's trying to actually interfere or actually uh, try to interrupt your, your efforts. Uh, or it can be the other way around. You feel so much empowered and you want to move forward and you can get great results. It depends how you handle it. Try to be the diplomatic Libra and then everything works out to your favor. The luckiest are those born on the 1st or 2nd of October. Let's move now to Scorpio. Scorpio, this can be a long, long, long um, uh, demanding day on all levels. It can be on a family level demanding. It can be demanding work-wise. It can be demanding socially. Uh, wise, it can be anything. It's not a negative day. It's just like it needs your full attention and your full expertise. Don't leave anything important or difficult or complicated to Wednesday or Thursday, because that's when things really can get very complicated. Be extra careful if you were born between the 19th and the 22nd of November. Let's move now to Sagittarius. Definitely Sagittarius is one lucky sign. Sagittarius, today you are the star of wherever you are. Any community you, you um, are present there, um, you seem to be the center of attention. Even if you don't want, you don't, you're not looking to be uh, the center of attention, you can be the center of attention. It's maybe it's your mood, maybe it's the way you think, the way you're talking, the way you move, the way you dress, maybe. Maybe your, um, your attitude, which is so full of energy, uh, attracts uh, great attention. Try to make the best of this beautiful, gorgeous day. It's one of the best so far. And maybe I think it's one of the last great, great, great days in uh, in August. Uh, everybody, everybody can be lucky, especially if you were born on the 30th of November, the 1st of, no of December. Let's m move now to Capricorn. Capricorn, this is a long day. You know that. It's a long, demanding day. Family, papers, maybe family issues. They need to be discussed. They need to be sorted out. It's okay. Put some effort today because tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, you're going to enjoy and have some time to yourself. So, Whatever is needed from you, even if it costs you some effort and maybe it's a kind of exhausting, do it. Today is better and you will not regret it. You can be quite lucky if you were born on the 9th or 10th of January. Let's move now to Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, today the moon is in, um, today the moon is in the third house. It's in um, Aries, which means that today you're, you can be talkative, you can be uh, you can actually spell it out, meaning that you can be very frank. So you have to be careful about it. Some Aquarians can be tough sometimes, their frankness, because they don't lie usually. So make sure that you don't actually hurt anybody's feeling. You have a lot of energy. It's the sun which opposes you, triggers some reactions from you. So you have to pay attention to that. You have to be very smart. Knowing that tomorrow the moon will square your si sign and the sun opposing your sign, probably tomorrow you can actually drag problems from today, Tuesday, to Wednesday and Thursday, and you don't want that because they can get complicated. So be extra careful, especially if you were born on the 11th, 12th of February. Let's move now to Pisces. 
Pisces, this is one gorgeous, beautiful day. I love this day. Uh, although there may be some uh, financial issues, maybe you're discussing important things, um, it's okay. I wouldn't mind that. If my situation is stable, you are quite fine. Maybe someone would need some help from you. Maybe you need some help from someone. Maybe you just need to give them a phone call and just sit and wait for the answer. I think this is a beautiful day. You can do anything you want, but just be more careful for any details if you were born um, on the 15th or 16th of March, that's because of the influence of planet um, Neptune. Okay, so basically this is it. I wish you all a wonderful, beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.